I completely healed myself from over 10 years of severe food sensitivities, multiple chemical sensitivity, and sensory processing disorders to sound, light, movement. And I used two methods together in a way that I've not seen anybody do. And the way that people are always asking me, how did I actually do this? How did I heal myself from these things? This was one of the main things. So the one thing was brain retraining. And the second thing was an alkalosis breathing or a Wim Hof style breathing. And I use them very uniquely. And so I'll just quickly say what brain retraining is, what breath work, the breath work that I used was specifically how that works. And then I'll say how we use them together. Um, it's magic, seriously. So I, so brain retraining is a DNR. I use the DNRS program, which is um, dynamic neuro retraining. There's primal trust out there. There's Gupta out there. There's other programs out there as well. It essentially is a way to get yourself out of limbic system impairment. So when we've been uh, chronically in an experience for a very long time, our body picks up false signals, false patterns of behavior. It's like the body goes into all these different types of PTSD and it starts running on these behaviors it thinks it's supposed to run on, but they're not actually benefiting us. The second thing that I used was the Wim Hof style breathing, alkalosis breathing. So basically you're bringing 20 to 30 breaths of lots of oxygen into your system. You're filling up your system, alkalining, and in that it's intentionally bringing the body into a, control, a controlled version of shock. And in that moment, I realized like, oh my gosh, wait, they're talking about like the body cannot run on its old programs when it's when it's in the state of shock it needs to be here and now in the moment it can't be focusing on these old things it needs to survive now and that clicked for me that was like wait a minute we're doing this with brain training we're doing all these different methods to get us into this here and now moment and to let go of the past behaviors that our body thought it had to run on so i'm like i'm going to connect these two now the brain goes, when you're in the alkalosis breathing, it's basically telling the brain stem that it can learn new patterns of behavior that doesn't have to go on what it was on before. So I was like, okay, if I do these rounds of breath work and then do my brain retraining right after it and then continue more rounds of breath work, my body is physically going into a place where it has to survive here and now it has to be in the moment here and now and then it can take on a new learned behavior a behavior that is actually benefiting me which is what I am programming in with my brain training which is what I'm programming in with my futurizations so now how did I specifically use this and I'll talk about food allergies because I think this is the most profound and also the easiest one to explain it's actually very simple so I would do a round or two of breath work. Now, I will say this was after I'd been practicing the breath work for a extended period of time. I, I don't remember exactly how long it was. It was probably like six months to a year or somewhere, somewhere in that state. But it was at a place where my body like knew that, that knew that breath work. It knew that when it was going into that breath work, that it was going to go into a new state that, um, that I, you like itching and things that I was having were starting to go away. I was already starting to experience the benefits of, uh, the breath work itself without, you know, um, I was doing the brain retraining and then I was doing the breath work separately. So I was already experiencing the benefits of both of those. And then when my body picked up on those behaviors that like, oh wait, when we do this alkalosis breathing, like we don't have to do those old patterns of behavior, like releasing tons of histamine. So I was like, okay, as I'm going through my training zone period, so training zones in, in brain retraining are when we are feeling like just slightly outside of our comfort zone. So it's like, okay, here I would feel totally safe. I would feel like I'm not challenging myself. I would feel like I'm really in like these fear states. Yes, they're real states as well because real physical experiences are happening, but they are also really intense fear states right here. So I'm just gonna move myself slightly over here and I have this kind of gap where if I was over here, I would not feel comfortable at all, like eating a food that I knew I would have a reaction to. Um, so I was kind of somewhere in the middle now in this zone it could be an example of I am going to bring a food on my plate even though I'm not going to eat it so it's it's going to be there I'm going to smell it I'm going to be aware of it in my presence I'm going to I'm going to 
futurize eating that. I'm smelling it. I'm seeing it. I maybe even am touching it, but I'm not quite eating it yet. It's just here in my presence and I'm allowing myself to get comfortable with that being here. Um, then, you know, maybe when you're feeling really strong one day, your next part of your training zone is a little bit over further. So we were here, now we're over here. Now it's like, wait, maybe I'm kind of ready to try a bite of one of my foods that I'm not having huge reactions to. I'm having slight reactions to, but I've noticed that with my brand new training, with my breath work, that my histamine levels have gone down. So I am going to be here now and I'm going to try a bit of the food. However, first I'm going to do a couple rounds of breath work to really alkalize my system, get that histamine level gone, um, tell my body it can run on a new program using the futurizations that I've had using where I'm changing my mindset over from that six, six state of mind over to the state of mind of benefit, the things that benefit me. So I would do in this state here, this like kind of this next chunk of brain retraining, training zone, I would take one of my milder reactions to sensitivities to foods and I would take a bite um, after I did two rounds of breath work. So two rounds of breath work, take a bite and then immediately do another round or two of breath work so that my body could feel the food going into the system. My brain could consciously be aware of the fact that I'm putting this food into my system. Um, my cells are aware of the, the food going into my system and my body is not having a histamine response. My body is just chill. It's just like, it's in that alkalosis state. It's, it's like, oh wait, yeah, wait, we used to eat this food. Like this food used to be a safe food. This food used to be something that we didn't have a response to before we had leaky gut, before we had all these other things going on. And now the body is learning that it can, it can eat this. So very quickly after I started doing this, I was doing this daily and I um, was able to add more and more foods in to my, into my system, into my menu, into my diet. Um, so that combination was like such a key. It, it gave me the confidence to be able to eat those foods and feel safe about it because I knew that I was able to use this breath work, for instance, when I was in going through a grocery store and I was coming out of that severe multiple chemical sensitivity to where like my mouth was peeling as I was walking past the aisle that had the chemicals on it. Or if somebody was wearing perfume or like a Tide laundry detergent, something really strong, like I would literally start to um, have the tissues of the inside of my mouth start to peel, the corners of my mouth would start to crack open, the inside of my nose would start to crack open. So I was having like a strong physical response, uh, non-beneficial response, like on contact with these things. So I was able to do the breath work before I went into the store, do this mini version of the breath work rod, kind of just because my body had gotten used to going <laughs> kind of from the Wim Hof, I started doing this like quicker version of that when I was in the store so that my mind started to learn that, wait a minute, when I do this breath work, I'm going into an alkalosis state. I'm going into a safe state. My body is learning these new beneficial patterns of behavior. It's not responding to things anymore. So I would do this in the car before I went in the store. I would do this while I was in the store and I have kind of, you know, like, okay, you're in the store around people. So like I would try to do it under my breath as much as possible, but like I try to get like in a spot where no one was around me, um, maybe go down like the next aisle and do it. Um, and you know, if no one was standing there, just kind of do that real quick again, like it would just be like a mild version of it because I wouldn't want to like sit down on the floor and do like a full Wim Hof thing in the middle of the store, but you could do something like that at home so you could have like a candle at home that you're reacting to and um you know put it on the other side of the room um or put it in a room that you're not spending like all your time in um in that moment do your breath work in another room go into that closed room um expose yourself for a couple seconds go back out and do the breath work so it's it's breath work exposure to something that you're not having severe reactions to um and then do breath work again breath work exposure breath work and you can do one round of this ex ex breath work exposure breath work breath work exposure breath work you know or you could do a couple rounds of that um 
and and just you know play around with what what is working for you again when you're doing this in the beginning like you might want to go on the milder side um just because like the brain is overactive thinking oh my gosh like i haven't done this before like how do i do this so start small you know it's just like it's just like doing reps in the gym when you first go back to the gym after a while you know taking those um you know those lighter weights and doing you know uh, smaller sets you know and then and then you build on it so same thing with this is you know start small start in a place that feels good start in a, a space that feels safe to you and then build on it from there and it's so it's pretty simple you know it's it's breath work exposure breath work and um and you know see what's where are you at in your training zone where what is something that you can use this for here and now i even used this in my um, day to day while i was learning to drive again so i didn't drive for years um for many many multiple reasons vertigo um anxiety ptsd where i was like literally like sweating when i'd see brake lights in front of me i'm going into a panic mode um I just couldn't take in the sensory information. A lot of times I was driving in the passenger seat in the car with like a blanket or a hood over my face because the just the flickering of the light coming through the window was too much sensory um, intake for me. So um, I would, when I started driving again, or even as a passenger in the car, I was doing this. I was like doing the breath work as a passenger in the car with when my mom was driving would drive her nuts. <laughs> she was like, oh my God. Okay. She was, she was happy that I was doing it. She was happy that I was finding ways to heal myself. But she was also like, this is so annoying. <laughs> she was, she's the trooper. She, she, of course, was, was happy I was doing what I needed to do. But then when I started driving, I was um, doing the breath work, pulling over, doing a couple rounds of it, then getting back on the road because I'd either have anxiety about driving in itself or I'd have anxiety about going to the place I was going to, maybe having to socialize, going to a new place I had to navigate. My brain was still learning to process all of these things, so it felt very overwhelming in the beginning. So the breath work... Um, was really helpful for that as well like as I was in the driving okay take a pause do the breath work and then go back to the exposure of the driving again so if you have questions specifically about how I did this in in this video like anything's not clear please write down below because um, I can clarify in another video I think this is like a key thing that pretty much anybody can use and um and it's it's just such a powerful powerful thing and i know now also that people are talking about like well do you want to do this breath work do you want to do like cold therapy and breath work like this because it's putting your body into shock well i was in a place where i was like always in a state of shock i was always in fight or flight i was like really 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 experiencing a lot of stuff i didn't have that fear of like doing the breath work and you know um going into that uh this this what people are talking about now with they oh we're I'm, I'm already in fight or flight so if i do this i'm gonna go into even worse fight or flight well i didn't experience that i experienced the the relief of it i experienced like oh wait i'm shifting and changing what's going on on going on chemically and cellularly in my body and i was able to use that time to reboot my system so for me, that worked tremendously. Um, and I think it's something that everybody can look into for themselves, see if it's the right thing for, for you to try, you know, check in with yourself. Um, and, you know, you can go into this at different levels, trying, trying little versions of this, you know, and then getting stronger with it, the, maybe less breaths and a less intense in intakes of air. Um, and then, you know, going at your pace of where you want to make that more intense. Um, it's your practice. It's your healing journey. So fuming into what you need. I just know that this tremendously, tremendously worked for me. I think this was a key. I don't know if I would be where I am now without these two things that I use together like this. All right. Well, if you're interested in coaching, please head down to the link in the description so that you can reach out to me so we can, um, do a consultation for one-on-one -on -one coaching. Uh, I have a ton of other videos on brain retraining and my story and everything I went through of over the 10 years out here on my channel. Um, so check out all those as well and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!